According to history, the very first industrial revolution in the United Kingdom happened around 1760 or so. Those sort of years where machines took over from man. For us, it's happening in 5503, just a couple of years later. Welcome to Manifest Destiny, episode 18, and today is our industrial revolution. Today is the day we get resources, we get guns, we get weapons, we get machines, we absolutely abuse <laughs> deep drills and we also abuse uh, i don't want to call it slave labor but it's very cheap labor <laughs> outsourcing that's it outsourcing so the plan for today is going to be outsourcing a lot of our jobs to the empire help getting them to help us out in terms of our industrial revolution and redoing all of our weapons and loadouts and also finishing off security um it's one of the big jobs that we've had going on for this series especially with all the raids kind of ramping up as we get more and more money i'd also like to start working on getting some more research to build better tanks so we can go and help liberate the tribals a little bit easier so if you enjoy any of today's episode and are excited to see industrialization at its peak, consider liking and subscribing and make sure you tell your mum about it. Well, let's get into things and let's start by reviewing our current people here. Currently we have Yucca, Birch and Yoshi's helping on the Grand Penetrating Scanners. Yucca and Birch are doing the resource console. They can stay there for the time being. How long left is there of our contract? It can't be much longer three days. Three days is quite a while. Too long if you ask me. I think we can use that time to get enough steel veins found on the map that we can just go absolutely ham when we get a load of people to work the deep drills. So if we, at the moment we've got a couple of veins down here for steel. We get another couple more we can have five or six people working deep drills like permanently and go from there. And in terms of weapons that we can now make as well as part of our industrialization we have access to the holy grail of weapons now. M60s, PKMs, RPDs, RPKs, HMGs. We have access to the fantastically American machine guns that we need to liberate some more people. Um, I think I'm going to queue up a couple of M60s for obviously obvious reasons. Iconic. I can't tell you if they're American, but iconically American as far as I'm concerned. Three M60s sound good to me. Um, and I think if we get maybe PKM as well, just, just for shits and giggles, basically, <laughs> that will do. However, in terms of armor, we still have unfortunately not researched anything other than the helmets that we've got. So at the moment, people will be sticking with their fantastic military helmets that they've had all this time. And that'll be about it for the time being. And Alamo successfully tamed Diver. Diver is a morphed animal that has been on the map for a very long time. Diver the ostrich. What a lovely fellow. Diver is a female ostrich of the delirious party. I'd be pretty delirious as well if I was forced to turn into an ostrich. 10 shooting, 10 melee, and 9 in social. Currently, looks like it could be a, a hussar if we change them back into a human. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. They are formerly human conflicted. And I think if we just chuck a reverter in them, they should go back to normal. And we'll go from there. Now, here's a site that I didn't expect to see. Diver is immediately decided they're a little bit upset and is smoking a smoke leaf joint. An ostrich getting absolutely wasted was not on my tick list for 2023, that's for sure. There we are. So, Diver using the converter, what are you going to revert into? Um, An invisible naked body. Very interesting. Okay, well, we'll just let them do their thing and revert back to whatever they were. Um, I, like I said, I've got no idea what they're going to be, and honestly, they're still a baseliner, theoretically. We'll just have to wait and find out. And checking back in with Diver, Diver has reverted back into a human enough that we can see their stats. 12 in shooting, 11 in melee, better than what we thought. The 10 in social, and they are just a straight-up baseliner. Whilst I am quite impressed with their stats, it's not somebody we really need, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to arrest them, convert them, and send them to an outpost, honestly. Items from Platter. 630 raw meat, 180 heavy fur, and as a reminder, this is from the outpost where literally nobody is good at anything, and they've managed to hunt down, I think that's the, probably the equivalent of two muffalos. Congratulations, guys, for a bunch of absolutely useless people, you've done a pretty good job. Thank you. And a new recruit, my man Chili, has joined us. Oleg Chili, Madden, the man, the myth, the legend, the gold-eating bad boy himself. Perfect. And as a reminder, he's... Four in construction, double passionate of eight in animals, 11 in medical of a single passion, technophobe, composed, delicate, kind, and wimp. He's basically a really nice bloke, and that's about it. Can you do anything else for us? Not 
really. Um, so Chili is going to be pretty much permanently on animals, medical, and just kind of helping around the base here, there, everywhere. I remembered as well, we have this artillery wreck on the map. And I think, what a fantastic time to get back into restoring it than when now we've got access to infinite resources. I think we have access to some more technologies as well in, to help with restoring it. I don't think we've got everything. It'd be nice. I mean, an artillery a vehicle would be lovely. I don't think we've got mortars yet either, which is even more exciting, honestly. And I've accidentally done that thing once again where I forget about we're, the fact that we're transforming Donny T uh, into a, a part monkey. Turns out he's now only 51% human. He is only barely <laughs> still human. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Can we please give you the antigen ASAP, my friend? Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble, Donny T. I am so sorry, my friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot about you. Oh, dear. And look, he has, like, started to turn into a monkey. His, like, colors changed and everything. He's got, like, a little monkey nose. I mean, if the Donny, Donny T in real life saw this, he'd not be very impressed. Um, light fur all over his body. He's got a left monkey ear growing. He's adapting to his dexterous toes. Flexible spine as well. I mean, this is all fantastic for his manipulation, but um, could be could could be better. I didn't really want him to be that that monkey like, you know. And Donny T is now at risk of turning into an animal completely. Oh dear, Donny T has been become invisible. Ah! <laughs> Please operate on Donny T, quick! <laughs> Shit! Um, I don't know how long he's going to stay invisible for. Um, I don't know if I need to revert him a little bit or what. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Ooh, a prison break is occurring. Orko, Silverfish, Mavis, Noro, Diver, Wolf, and Sponge. Everybody is escaping. This is not ideal. However, we have a valiant fighting force, including the invisible Donny T with a stun bat on. That is probably the most confusing thing these people will ever witness in their life, is an invisible man stunning them to death. All you can see are his hands carrying the bat on. Holy moly, <laughs> Donny T's going wild with it as well. Yeah, I, this isn't what I expected either. Just an invisible bunch of hands. Christ, okay, well, Donny T, go off, my friend, go off. And unfortunately, some of these prisoners are being sliced to shreds by Robert. Um, He's probably quite angry, to be fair. He hasn't had a chance to slice anyone up with that chainsaw for quite a while. And we do have to obviously deal with Mavis as well. Um... Coke, please. Please. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. That's everything dealt with. Unfortunately, Coke is now bleeding out in three hours. Had her leg and a shoulder ripped off. Jesus Christ, Coke. You're not having a good time, are you, my friend? Peg legs. The lot. Is this karma for him being a total drug addict? I'm not sure, honestly. If his father was here to see him now, he'd probably be honestly um, not surprised that this is his treatment. <laughs> Now, Donny T is still invisible, as we can see by Chad Chadson doing the stuff. I, I think we need to revert him somehow. Oh, no, actually, he's actually 56% human. Why can we no longer see you? This is a bit strange. I don't know. Is this because he's lost one of his legs? Is that why he's less monkey now? I'm not sure. Maybe we need to revert Donny T. Maybe we've gone too far into the monkeyisms, you know? So industrialization isn't going too well, but you know what? I feel like that's representative of real life. You know, there are going to be issues with industrializing. There are going to be issues with the people suffering injuries. You know, Donny T's turned invisible from our industrial experimentation and Coke has just lost another leg and their shoulder, you know? This is just how what happens, you know? Ignore the fact we've made no progress so far because... You know, <laughs> we've just been absolutely railed by a prison break. I'm looking at you, Mavis. I'm looking at you. <laughs> there we are. Our lovely outsourced workers have left. And we have 7,600 silver to get ourselves a small army of happy, happy workers. Dr. Jew, I feel like it's only appropriate that you, our mad scientist, comes down here and gets the right people. Now, how many do I want? I think 10 is a good start. It's a very healthy start to get people working, and we can get a good amount of them. However, I know that we could get some really bad colonists with this, and it could completely destroy my game. Um, I'm going to get them for just three days, so then if it, it does go really wrong, I don't have to, like, suffer for too long. That sounds good to me. Nothing better than outsourcing work, you know? 
Oh dear. Holy moly, that's a, that's a lot of roles being activated. Master Architect, Commissar, Warm Defender, Flesh Crafter, Tick Harvester, Engine, Soothsayer, and Scrupulous Seller, Nurse, Wild Joker, and Sophian Family. Holy moly, that's a lot of things that I've just activated. But there they are. Sue, Gracie, Bear, Dyra, Shiro, Zebo, Linda, Rita, Naomi, and Freckles. What a fantastic group of people. I'm not going to go through all of them independently. I'm going to set them up on things that make the most sense for them and go from there. Perfect. So I've set up our small army of outsourced workers into their assigned jobs. And now we have a manhunting pack. A manhunting pack of Jodic the Hedgehogs again. They are breeding, I swear. Um, 11 of them this time. But yeah, I've assembled them all into a little army here. They're all doing the exact same jobs. All of them are all deep drilling as a priority. Um, otherwise, they'll be working on cutting down plants and trees and then working on the resource console. But these Jonic the Hedgehogs do slightly concern me. I'm going to grab the squad and get them to come up to the defensive area. I'm going to get them to maybe, I don't know, stand nicely at the front as a defensive line, you know? And unfortunately, they are all being targeted by the Jonic the Hedgehogs. I don't think I have much chance here. Um, one of them is a Psycaster, very interestingly. Cottonwood can just do her thing, I think, with the Assault Rifle and Search and Destroy. Microsoft can also do their thing and Search and Destroy as well. Um, I think they're all pretty sound, and everybody with a gun can also do their thing. They are the outsourced workers. I've got straight involved here. Whether or not they'll survive, I'm not too sure. Jonic the Hedgehogs are being absolutely ganged up on left, right, and center. You know what? Maybe this one... Cottonwood... Cottonwood! Ah, shit! Cottonwood, please run. I think there were two groups of them, actually. Microsoft's gone down death in 14 hours. Oh, God. Cottonwood, run. Run. <laughs> Cottonwood has now also gone down as well with their left ear being bitten off. All right. That's, this is kind of annoying. This is why we need our defenses set up, you know? We have got them queued up. We have got things started. Just We needed our workforce here to put more work in. And to be fair, they're not doing a bad job dealing with all of these Jonic the Hedgehogs. It's nice to have a little army of outsourced workers. <laughs> and they are the last one is there, and that is it. To be fair, the outsourced workers have done a lot better than I expected. None of them went down. None of them are dying particularly. This is good. I'm actually impressed. However, <laughs> I don't want them to all go on bed rest. So then they then sit around and do nothing for absolutely ages. So I think what I might do, which I'm not sure is a good idea or not, I'm going to cancel the contract with the Empire and hope that they'll be okay about this so I can then get another 10 new ones at full health. Uh, Cancelling the contract will not refund the silver you spent on it. That's absolutely fine by me. <laughs> I, I don't mind. And now they have it all left again. So what we can very simply do is just rehire them all. And because we are flush for money, it's not the end of the world. I think this is a um, pretty exploitable. However, we know that it works now. This is fantastic. We can get ourselves lots of lovely workers to help with things. Uh, we'll go for another three days. And once again, all the roles have been assigned. That is not a worry, okay? I don't mind. It's not the end of the world. Let's get them all assigned to their jobs and let's get started. With all of our new workers as well, I felt like it was only right that we somewhat provided for them. You know, we're... They're, they're workers. We're our workers. We've got to look after them. We've got to feed them. We've got to do all those good stuff. I've queued up a little bunk room here in hopes that this is kind of... This will do. Um, <laughs> and straight away, all of them are working on the deep drills available. We do have a few more veins of steel around the map. Um, there's one of them very conveniently placed in our refinery here. Unfortunately, we've got no space to put them in. Which is why I am planning on moving the oil refinery stuff into this building here. Once... We can get the rest of the stuff built down. Just like that, we now have six deep drills on the go with the with six people working on them. Holy moly! <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. Now, I don't permanently want these ten people, which is fantastic. This is why we've hired them. Honestly, why don't more countries just outsource all their work and pay them absolutely nothing? No comment. <laughs> But this is going to be fantastic for our steel production. At the moment, we are at a net gain of 194 steel. Soon, we'll be able to start working on making the weapons, which Don E.T., using his invisible hands, is already doing. Whipping us up a couple of M60s. Holy moly, this feels good. Speaking of Don E.T., I still have no idea why you're still invisible. You are 56% human. 
I'd imagine we need to use a reverter on him. I, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. Just leaving him and forgetting that I need to antigen on him. Kind of a shame, because I do like the idea of him being a monkey. So you know what, let's use a reverter on him. Let, uh, we've, we've got one in stock somewhere. I, uh, Donny T, I miss your face, I miss your beauty, and I miss your elegance. Please, just use that reverter, sort yourself out. I think we'll revert him enough until we can see him, and then we'll stop that. And Donny T, has picture has reverted. We can now see he, that he has a torso. Um, hmm, not sure if I believe that, honestly. So slowly, Donny T is returning back to us, finally. Hey, I thought we used the reverter on him. Why, why is there no effects of the reverter being shown? Maybe a reload will be what we need, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> Shit. And bill complete, make M60. Donny T has done it in all of his invisibleness. Holy moly, show me the money. There it is, the M60. Now, who do we want to give the first M60 to? The One of the greatest machine guns the world has ever seen. Now, I'd obviously want to give it to Donny T because, you know, he's our lovely peace giver that goes out to the farms and shows them who we are and makes sure they know that we're peaceful. So that's what we're going to do. Give it to Donny T, the most peaceful man we know. Have we got any more? We do. We have two more M60s in storage. Holy moly. Two of them just sitting there chilling. Uh, next, I think Chad Chadson definitely needs an M60. Equally as American as the shotgun that he has right now, it's perfect. And I think the same with Kyle Dodecahedron. The M60 squad is there. We need to get some more prisoners. That's what we need at the moment. Let's go on a small excursion to go get some more prisoners. Uh, we have a hunting worksite with two people. And we have a hostile faction base that's set up over here. Okay, two people. That sounds perfect. Uh, let's hop in the, the mule. So we take Donny T. We won't take Coke, who is obviously injured. Donny T and my man, Dr. G. Yeah, we haven't taken Dr. G out for a spin for a while. That sounds good. And the caravan has arrived at the hunting work site. Oh dear, I've just realized something. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to re-equip Donny T with his non-lethal outfit. He's currently, I think I've actually taken him with the M60. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh dear, that was not intended. Dr. Gio has the AK-74 you, so I kind of thought, all right, it's a little bit less lethal, but Donny T has a... Oh no, he doesn't. He does still have the dark gun. He didn't drop it. Nor did he use the reverter. He just picked it up. That's why nothing happened. He just picked it up. I clicked the wrong button. It's nothing to do with me. Okay, perfect. Let's go deal with these lovely, lovely hunters up here. They're lovely tribal people. Let's just get them out of the way, and we can move on. And the imps from the Holeth are attacking our colonists. Uh, one of them up here... Oh, uh, killed straight away. Oh, dear. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Both of them are dead. But I guess we get to enjoy the rewards of being here, and that is all of the hunting stuff. And build complete. Make our PKM as well. This sudden influx of steel we've got from having all of our lovely outsourced workers is fantastic. Holy moly. Donny T, please can you drop the PKM? Thank you very much. Perfect. And there is our lovely PKM. Very, very attractive. Who gets this one? You know what? I feel like it would be Cottonwood, you know? Cottonwood hasn't got an American name whatsoever, particularly. The Ocola bit at the end she inherited from Coke. I feel like she would definitely have a PKM, you know? The, the, I feel like maybe a slight outsider, you know? And we've also managed to finish off some of the lovely machine gun positions. We've got a M2 Browning here, 200 bullets in, and we have a Tau Launcher. Now, I'm not one for human targets, but we do very conveniently have some outsourced workers. Now, I'm not going to aim necessarily at them, but we're going to we're gonna test things out and commit a couple of war crimes. Caitlin here is going to be chilling with her bottle of beer. She's come in here and she's accusing us of doing this, this, and this. Chad Chatton's going to hit, sit on the machine gun and let rip. Oh, dear. Okay. Death in seven hours. Liver has been destroyed. <laughs> Holy moly. Chad, stop. Please, stop firing. Brutal. Okay, I didn't expect that. Let's bring our next target. Uh, Katia here. Um, fantastic, lovely lady. Hop on the towel launcher. I think a towel launcher is an explosive. Oh my god, it is. Now, I don't have to shoot Katia here, but she looks angry with that knife. And I feel really, really threatened. And I'm defending my property. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Whoops. 
<laughs> right leg has been destroyed, shredded by the towel launcher. Okay. You know what? These are quite powerful, and I'm happy we've got them. I'm sorry, Katia. It just had to happen. Were you friends with anybody? Uh, no. I don't think you were, actually. So, I think we're okay. I, I think we're all right. And Caitlin, the, our little test subject, is valiantly working on. These outsourced workers are fantastic. We've shot at them shreds with an M2 Browning. She's absolutely high on drugs to keep her going. And she's just still going. She's chilling, you know, just chilling, working away. This is fantastic. I am going to heal her, obviously, because I am actually a slightly nicer person than you might think. Um... <laughs> Christ, Caitlin, you are a trooper. Fair play to you, you know? Fair play. I've clicked on Dolly T to use the reverter again. Um, so hopefully he'll revert enough that we can go back to normal now. Uh, I'm going to revert him back to the point where we can see his face and that'll be it. But now the next problem that we have with Caitlin is that she's apparently experiencing acute liver failure. Now, this is obviously nothing to do with the fact that we absolutely annihilated her liver with an M2 browning. I'm going to blame it on the drugs or something, you know, as normal people do. Unfortunately, I don't think Caitlyn's going to survive this, which is kind of a shame. Unlucky, Caitlyn. You are a very good, uh, air minor construction. You're actually pretty good. Ah, oh, fair enough. And another prison break. This is from our other prison where Emma is kept. This is not good. Dr. Dewey is in there. Oh, bro, please. To be fair, he's got a katana. Now, one of the other tribals does also have a katana because I've got to take it off him. There we go. And the last prisoner is their Emma, Invisible Emma. The lovely Eldritch Invisible Demon has been dealt with as well. Is that all of them? There's one left as well. You know what? This didn't go too badly, you know? It could have gone worse. And unfortunately, as an update on Caitlyn, um, she's dying, all right? The acute liver failure near death is coming uh, probably something to do with the fact that her liver is destroyed or something, you know, it is. I think she's gone. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do to save her. Can we give her a liver? No, we don't have one. I think she's gone. -er. She's a goner. -er. Slaughterer. Graves. Graves has been possessed by a psychotic rage and has decided to kill all of our animals. Now, this is not good because all of our animals involve all of our perfectly normal Jorises, including Walter. Now, if I was Dr. Jew, I'd be not impressed by this. In fact, so unimpressed, I'd try to execute Graves. <laughs> God, we are really going against the Empire, aren't we? I feel like we definitely need to, like, seek revenge on the Empire. Dr. Jew is standing there, making sure that nothing happens to his animals. Get him. Get him, Dr. Jew. Get them. Graves has been shot over and over again. He's not stopping, is he? He's been killed. Dr. Duke had to do it. He had to kill Graves. Oh, that's three of these Empire people we've killed now. Holy moly. <laughs> Death of Graves. Let's just destroy the body. Destroy the evidence. Dr. Duke doesn't care. He doesn't care whatsoever. How does he feel about that? Uh, witnessed an outsider's death. Minus three. He's equally upset about an outsider dying as he is eating without a table. Renworld moment. <laughs> <laughs> brutally murders an outsider, is equally as upset about not eating at a table. Nice. Um, so that's Caitlyn that's died. Well, Caitlyn is dying. Graves that died, and the other person that we experimented on has died. We truly are Americans, aren't we? And on that fantastic note of us going against the Empire, I'm going to have to call things here. Progress of the Industrial Revolution is slow to start. I must admit, it's not necessarily going as fast as I'd like. We have got a nice influx of steel, however, and people are working the steel deep drills absolutely mercilessly, with steel just stacked up at absolutely everywhere and our hauling bots not even been able to keep up with it honestly um, i think the goal for next episode is going to be to finish security we've done the bottom side kill box here and i'm honestly super happy with these brownings and the tow launchers extremely strong uh, we just need to do the top side up here which is kind of halfway there then we can tick off security and after that i think i'm gonna turn up the difficulty we're gonna start absolutely going to town on the tribals and letting them know that we are here to stay so you have, have enjoyed today's episode. We're excited to see all the fantastic things we're going to do with the Empire next episode. <laughs> Consider liking, subscribing, and make sure you tell your mum about it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.